On my first morning there, bitterly cold yet excited, I saw the animals I had traveled halfway across the world to see, the cheetah. The first generation of animals that came to Sunborna were all brought here into an area where their ancestors once roamed free. But now there's a whole new generation of animals that is Sunborna born, like the cheetahs behind me. In fact, the female with the radio collar was born here. Now she has three cubs. More animals will be brought into Sunborna to fill in the carrying capacity of this reserve area. But the hope is that they will continue to reproduce this well to fill that space naturally. An animal that we drove to extinction in India in the 1950s. An animal that has walked like a spirit in the grass of every landscape I have visited in India's wilderness. In the middle of a rugged strain of mountains called the Swartberg lies this, the little Karoo, or the Clean Karoo, which then stretches out into the Great Karoo in the Western Cape of South Africa. Today, the presence of the sun has been reduced to an echo in the wind that blows through the valley and in the evocative rock art that you find in small scattered caves. And in the name of the region, Karoo, from the Khoi word, Karusa, or land that is barren, a thirstland. The little Karoo, however, is the small fertile patch of land in this valley. People have lived on this harsh plateau, the largest of its kind outside of Asia, for over 500,000 years living in harmony with nature, but about 300 years ago, this part of the Little Karoo was taken over by white settlers who eradicated the animals to build farms. Ultimately, the Karoo proved more resilient than the settlers, and slowly, over the last few years, farmers have started to move away, selling their farmsteads. In a truly innovative conservation move, the Mantis Group, a conglomeration, bought over 54,000 hectares of land here. Their idea to set up a game reserve that would bring back the Karoo's original glory. To do this, they tore down the fences built by the original farms and built new fences on the bigger boundaries, allowed the original vegetation to thrive, and finally started to bring in the animals from around South Africa, animals that used to once walk free here. The game reserve is called San Bona, San for the people who used to live here, and Bona for their vision of nature in balance. The cheetah has always been a dream and an inspiration. For where else in life is design, life and extinction, all wrapped into such a beautiful package? Such a fast predator could certainly chase and hunt down anything it wants. The lack of stamina gives the prey the edge it needs. The cheetah, the secret to life on Earth, a fine equilibrium between every living force. The four cheetahs that I had the privilege to spend time with were a mother and her three cubs. It makes me sad that India has lost her cheetahs and is right now pushing her other big cats, the lions, the leopards and the tiger, to the edge. I could never even have been on foot this close to either wild lions or tigers. This animal has a different temperament. It does not mean that one can be foolish. After all, it is a powerful predator. But if you have a fine understanding of wildlife protocols, talk softly, walk lightly, never go ahead, maintain the comfort zone distances, and this fantastic moment can be yours. Just a few feet of air between you and one of nature's most amazing creatures.